All right, Elvis, talk to me about Combat to College. You, you told me about this earlier. I had no idea you were doing this, and it, it just sounds like an awesome project. Yeah, this is something that me and uh, a lot of my board members really believe in. Uh, it started back four years ago when um, we had a whole bunch of vets, and I was going through school also, and we were all, you know, conjugating with each other, and we decided that, you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff that slips through the cracks uh, when it comes to the VA and the GI Bill. And what we wanted to do is we wanted to bring everything together to where, you know, when vets need help, first of all, we're very prideful, so it's hard for us to go and ask for help. But when you're with, when, when you're with your other comrades, it, it's a lot easier to just look at your brother in arms or sister in arms and be like, hey man, you know, I'm in a jam right now, but the VA, you know, and the GI Bill's not gonna come in for, you know, three weeks, four weeks down the line, and when you need help, you need it right then. So we decided to form this organization to where, you know, we cut the red tape and, you know, we made it to where people can just come to us that needed the help right then and right, you know, right at the spot. Uh, and uh, we made it really simple. We vetted out these guys and we made sure that, you know, whatever it was that they needed, we could help them with. Whether it was getting books or whether it was paying for their light bill because, you know, their electricity was going to go out, you know, we decided to... We're going to cut the red tape and we're going to make this organization so we'll raise money, we're all volunteers, and we're just going to help out other vets that are, that are in that need and that need that cash. Give me a couple stories. Tell, uh, what's, what's, give me an example of something you guys oh, have done well, re um, recently or originally. Or... Uh, it started off with, um, I had heard that there was these uh, two vets and uh, they moved here from uh, out, of, out of town and they basically didn't realize that the school that they were gonna be attending was here in Jacksonville and their apartment that they got was two hours away, almost close to Orlando. Yeah, Florida's so, a little bigger than a lot of people think. Exactly, right? <laughs> exactly. And, and uh, you know, I'm telling you, what ended up happening was is that um, they were making the commute every single day to try to go to their technical school that they were, that because they had already signed the lease in Orlando, so they couldn't break out of that, but they had already signed up for the classes that they needed to take here. So, you know, First of all, I said, you know what? You guys are running yourselves ragged doing this. I mean, there's no way that you guys are doing this every day, commuting four hours a day, and then still having to, you know, do your schooling and, and, and studying and take your test and, and then just class alone. At that time, it was when, you know, gas prices were high and it was almost like $4 a gallon. So these guys were going broke. So I literally opened up my home and I let these guys actually live and stay with me until they got everything you know that they needed from the GI Bill and uh, I, I put them up and uh, from doing that that's when I really woke up and say you know what this is happening to a lot of people this is really happening to a lot of vets and then so you know I can't tell you how many cases that you know I would I would have these vets come in and tell me hey you know what uh, I need help with my books so I you know, we, with the money that we raised, I helped them and I gave them money for, for their books. But um, we, what we also ended up doing was we, we kept up with these guys. And we, we kept up and make sure that they were getting what they needed throughout the semester. You know, we, we became a mentorship program to where, you know, we were there for if they needed tutoring or if they needed any other kind of assistance, we tried to make it happen for them. And uh, it's turned into what, it's, what we are now. And uh, we take pride in what we do because now we've, we've changed our scope to a bigger and, and, uh, and better genre of people to where we try to help out not only vets that are going through any, any kind of form of higher education, but we're also helping out uh, vets that are trying to be first responders because we found out that, you know, these guys that are going into the police academy, in the fire academy, and going to EMT school and... Um, and also nursing. I mean, these guys are all going out and, you know, after they get out of the service, you know, they've got families. They've got families. So the, the, the fourteen, sixteen hundred dollars a month that they get for a stipend for, for from the GI Bill isn't gonna cut it. So we'd like try to we try to help them out and when they have harder times and uh, we're just there to help and that's what we want to do. That's awesome. Now I slipped in the JFE logo here. You, this isn't your job. This is something you're volunteering. You're doing this on the side. All of us are all volunteers. Everybody is yep. because you're you're working at Joint Force Enterprises. You also you're involved with Carver Customs. Exactly. You got a lot going on. Yep. Uh, I think this uh, combat to college is cool. 
Um, is there like what's the qualifier? Veteran status and yeah, looking we don't, for education. Yeah, yeah, it's all about being help, being able to help any veterans. We we've helped out anybody from that's been from the Desert Storm to you know Iraqi Freedom to anybody that's actually just gone and served their country because uh, we don't discriminate against anybody. Uh, even, the, other, even the Coast Guard. Right, even the Coast Guard. Right, fair, yeah, fair enough, yeah, fair enough. absolutely. But yeah, we don't discriminate against, like some of the other organizations, the larger ones, you know, you have to be, you know, uh, you know, a certain percentage of disabled or something like that. Hey, if you're just trying to make yourself better after you get out, then we want to help you out. That's awesome, and it's cool first responder. Obviously, that means a lot of people that are, that are continuing absolutely. to serve their community and, and serve the country in that way too. Uh, I think it's awesome. Uh, combat to college org obviously is where people can figure that out. And uh, obviously, I'm a big fan of education, a big fan of veterans, and uh, appreciate what you do. That's right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.